Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to get to work on some super slick Greek architecture. I want you to hit new and I want you to choose 3D design. I'm going to call this Greek and I'm going to call it parts. We're just going to make the parts that we're going to build with. Now, the first thing I did was look it up and I found out that they have 20 flutes. So that's how many we're going to use on ours. And we're going to see how quickly and efficiently we can make this shape. Friends, let's start by bringing out a simple cylinder. I'm going to keep the 20 by 20 because that's a decent shape, but I am going to make it 100 high. As we zoom out or hit F, that's a decent shape. I do want to take the sides and I want to make them 64. Friends, we are also going to bring out a cylinder hole. I want you to hold shift, squeeze it, type 4, and press enter. We're going to stretch that up, obviously, to size 100. And then we need to make the sides round. I'm going to tell you to select the two of those shapes, press L for a line, click on the big cylinder, choose center and edge. Now we're going to click on that edge and we're going to bring it out one, two clicks. Notice it's exactly halfway. We're going to do control D and shift nudge to the other side. Notice two shift nudges and it's exactly to that side. If you want to double check though, you can just do L again, make the cylinder the boss, click over, click back on that hole, one, two, to click and make it out. Now we want to take those two holes and select them and we're going to do control G. So they are a group. All right, friends, this is where it gets unbelievably cool. So they are grouped. We're going to do control D. I'm going to tell you to rotate it to any number, but then type 18. Because if we do 360 divided by 20, we get 18 for each turn. When you let go, don't touch anything else. Just do Control-D again and again, and they will go all the way to the other side and meet up. At that point, friends, you can select that entire chunk, group it, and you've got an unbelievably cool Greek column. How cool is that? I'm going to change it to white. Friends, we're going to add the little square pieces underneath with, believe it or not, the polygon. When you bring this little fella out, you need to change the sides to four. We're also going to use the sweet shift rotate to get it so it's square. Change your bevel to two and leave it set for one. Now I want the bottom of this to be flat, so I'm going to bring out a hole. I'm going to shrink it to half its size, so I'm going to type 10. And then when we select those two, we can do control G to group them. Once it groups, let's hit D to drop. I am going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch this and type 25. That way I know it'll be larger than our column was. And then I'm going to change the height to something like five or six. I am going to make it white. I'm going to put the work plane on top of it and I'm going to do D to drop. Let's select those two and do L for a line. Pop, pop. And then I want to put it on top as well. Control D, W for work plane, D for drop. And then we want to use the awesome mirror tool to get it the other way. When you put the work plane back on the ground, friends, you have got a magnificent column. Friends, I can see that I'm going to have times where I don't always want these pieces. So I'm going to do Control D and nudge this across. D to drop. And I'm going to make a column with the supports. And I'm going to make a separate column. So friends, what you need to do is click on these three pieces. We're going to switch over to the Your Creations, and we're going to create a shape. So friends, I wait for it to load. I added my supported Greek column, column with blocks, Greek column, and I never locked the part size, and I'm going to save that shape for later use. Now I'm going to click on my other blank, and I'm going to create a shape from it. So friends, it did take a while to load, but while I was waiting, I typed in the column without supports, Greek column, column Greek. Once again, friends, I never locked the part size and we hit save shape. Now at any time, if I switch over to your creations, I will be able to bring out a smart Greek column. This is a lot more intensive for the system to work with than the Greek column shape. So friends, I am totally looking forward to seeing the awesome things you come up with now that you've got access to these sweet 
Greek columns. I also want to thank Tinkercad Designer Fungus for the idea on the project. And finally, friends, I hope that you enjoyed the video, learned some skills, and if you did, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.